it's an incredible adren adrenaline buzz when you you know when you get a phone call saying you know, this is what's happened and you know we're waiting for a patient to arrive in A and E. My job involves a variety of different things. We provide patients with um, with blood, be it a liver transplant or um, a massive road traffic accident. It's it's incredibly stressful knowing that if you don't deliver, that potentially that patient may not survive. The most difficult thing that I've had to encounter in my life, um, I would say, would be my mum got diagnosed with breast cancer. While it was, was, was a bad point, at the same time it was incredibly inspirational to see what went into the delivery of, of her care. I, I had a great time at school. You know, you look back when you're at university and you wish you were still there. You know, I got allowed into university actually based on my, my GCSE results and my predicted grades and they said, well, you know, we'll give you a, a go. And to be honest, I started the degree without the knowledge of this job even existing. It's something that I, I learned about a lot later on, actually, after my, in my first year at university. A lot of people don't realise actually actually goes on, but what a vital service it provides to a hospital. So I suppose it's nice that sometimes if there's been a massive, massive road traffic accident and the patients come in and that you've in some way played a part in, in helping that patient to hopefully survive. And I think that you do walk away with a great sort of sense of, of pride that you've made a difference.